Phyllis Amido says there is barely anyone in this community on the outskirts of Mombasa who does not have lead poisoning. We did uh, 50 tests just before I left home and only one person tested negative for lead poisoning. 49 had lead poisoning in their blood. Her son, King David, was one of them, poisoned through his mother's breast milk, but he was lucky. He received medical treatment and is now a happy nine-year-old. It broke my heart, but I was also very angry. I thought that I would just write letters to, to the government agencies and tell them, and I assumed at that time, very naively, that since this was very obvious, they would take action on it. So she took matters into her own hands. After five years of tireless campaigning, the smelter was shut down. But the water and the soil are still contaminated, and the residents are still suffering. We've had so many stillbirths. We have children dying um, uh, like a week after they were born. So we have had very terrible effects in the community, which I strongly want government to answer for. And now it will. Her $175,000 prize money has enabled her to file court action against the government, demanding they take responsibility for not shutting down the smelter sooner and that they help the people who have been poisoned by it. Phyllis also has an appointment here at the White House. She'll be meeting the president's environmental advisers, proving that her fearless activism is as inspirational here in Washington as it is at home in Kenya. Kate Fisher, CCTV, Washington.